Are you tired of buying batteries and batteries and more batteries just so that this thing here just runs for one day? This remote control car here takes six AA batteries and it dies faster than G1 trying to do chores. Blame the cheap batteries. All right, so imagine your flashlight flickers during a blackout, your wireless mic dies mid recording, and somehow G1 keeps sneaking my last batteries for his robot dance parties. We needed something smarter. This is Linogy, a fast, safe, and seriously clever battery system. That might just change how you power just about everything. Now, if you guys want your very own, check out the link down below in the description. And with that said, let's go ahead and unbox it. All right, guys, check it out. So we have our charger right over here, and they also gave us some batteries. We have an eight pack AA battery, and then a four pack AAA battery. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this charger. Pretty cool looking packaging. Uh, one thing to note, it's recyclable, so that's kind of neat too. You can tell right off the back, it definitely looks like recycled material. Oh, it says our packaging is tape free, plastic free, and printed with water based ink on craft paper. While this choice comes with high cost, it's a meaningful step towards a sustainable future. And having rechargeable batteries definitely names it. Oh, that's so cool. So they've got these little cases. So these here are actually for our AAA batteries. So you open these up, put the AAA in there, and then you can charge it since this base is designed for AA's. Let's take a look at these batteries. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, so we're all set and ready to go. Now, the cool thing about this is I went ahead and plugged this wire in and there's actually no specific watts of power that it requires. In fact, it says 15 or above to go ahead and charge this. So you can use any fast charging capability, simply plug it in and don't have to worry anything about in terms of am I putting too much power to it. Now, the interesting thing about this is the design itself. So it's got a really like eco-friendly vibe to it. I love this display here. So it shows the number of batteries charged and the number of CO2 reduced per kilogram. So that is great because it kind of gives you that memory feedback in terms of how much good I've done by using these batteries. But there's more. Press the button on the side and a QR code appears. Scan it to name your saplings, join a virtual eco community, track your carbon savings, and share it all on social media. It's a fun way to stay connected and highlight Linogy's green mission. Now, in order to use it, simply just go ahead and open up this lid, and then you have your colorful batteries, which I have to say are really interesting to see, and they're really cool, actually. And just go ahead and pop them in. And from there, once you pop them in, you can go ahead and hit this green button here, and this will tell you your battery life indication. Now, based on the color that you see, it will tell you how much juice is left. Think of it that way. And then, does it require charging, or you can just go ahead and just use it right off the bat. So not only is it a charger, but it's also a battery charge checker. So a blinking yellow light means that it's checking the power. Then a solid green light would indicate power sufficient which actually is majority of all of them over here. A solid yellow light would indicate low battery and a solid red light would mean out of power. So right now we have all solid greens indicating that these guys are all sufficient in power. However, you can just go ahead and start charging it. Insert the tray, close the lid, and now it will start charging. When it's blinking green like this last one over here, this one means that its charging is in progress. So that's kind of cool to see that you know where your battery life is at. All these are solid green, so these are actually charging complete. And then obviously if it's red, that means there's an abnormal current. And then a blinking red means that it's non-chargeable. Then once it's done charging with all of them, it'll drop all the batteries down at once. So we're just gonna wait till this last one is charged. Um, and then it should drop all the batteries down at once. Now, as we're kind of waiting for that to happen, I wanted to show you the AAA batteries. So these AAA batteries are also quite identical in design and color. However, oh, 
<laughs> Just like that, you saw all of them drop at the same time, indicating that these are fully charged. And that is actually really cool because now I know these batteries are ready to go. And then from there, you just go ahead and take out these tray and you have these fully charged batteries to use. How cool is that? So these AAA batteries, although they look like they would just kind of fall right in there, they won't because this is designed for AA batteries. So they come with these interesting looking plastic cases, which you wanna make sure you do orientate it correctly. So you just put the bottom one there like this and the top one goes in like this. And just like that, now we have these little trays or essentially containers to charge our AAA batteries. Let's go and put it in there like this. And then I'll go ahead and charge just like that. All right, so for this portion of the video, we'll be doing a variety of different tests. One thing we'll be looking at is using a multimeter and testing the voltage. And then we'll go ahead and do a capacity test using our capacity tester right over here. Uh, we'll also check the particular dimensions of the battery, the weight, and see if we can go ahead and simply turn on a device like a fan. Let's jump right into it. All right, looks like our batteries are ready. Let's go ahead and take them out here. And then we'll grab one of these guys right over here. Then we'll go ahead and put it up to four. And then uh, let's try this out. Looks like we got 1.58. So that would indicate a healthy battery. So anything above 1.5 would indicate a healthy battery. Uh, what that means is the amount of power that is producing. Uh, think of it this way. If you went out and bought a brand new battery, it would indicate something above 1.5, just like this. And uh, that is actually because we just went ahead and fully charged it using our charger. Now what we're gonna do is try out, see if we can power on this fan here. All right, so let's go ahead and test out the Linogy AA batteries with another common brand. Based off of this, you can see that the Linogy was a lot stronger. In addition, it actually lasted a lot longer too, which hands down is an A in my book. Over here, you can see side-by-side -side comparison on how long the batteries last with a mini fan. As you can tell, the Linogy outweighs all of them at 303 minutes. You can go ahead and test the weight of this. Going on the scale and we're at 19.5 grams. And then let's try out our AAA battery. So we're at roughly around nine grams. Moving on to our measurements, uh, obviously, you know, these have to be standard size. So you would imagine that there shouldn't be any issues at all. So we're at 1.97 inches for our AA battery. And for our AAA, 1.73. Here's a quick side-by-side -side comparison with a competing brand's battery. As you can tell, they're pretty much the same standard size in a lighter package. And let's try out our battery capacity test next. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little test on the battery capacity. Uh, for this one here, we're actually gonna set this. Uh, we'll start off at 1.5 amps, and uh, we can see how this reads out. Here we go. So we got some good numbers, you can see right there. Nice and consistent, very good. Showing the power level. Uh, that's a strong battery right over there. And, uh, kind of bump it up a little bit. All right. Should cap out at two. Yep, there you go. So yeah, not bad. All right, back to the RC car. After inserting the Linogy batteries, it was a lot more better. In fact, I was able to go ahead and use it for more than just one day. Plus, with recharge capability, I never have to buy it ever again. If you use batteries and toys, remotes, mics, or just robot sidekicks, Linogy is 100% worth checking out. I approve this charger. You can go to Kickstarter page right now to purchase yours directly. Save money and save the planet. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a long-term test or G1 trying to change his own battery. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.